Hey, what's going on, folks? Today I want to show you how I made over 5 million AUEC in Star Citizen 3.9 live patch in just a single day. Now, this really did take me about all day. I mean, something like 12 hours straight to get this done. So I'll take you through pretty much all the steps that I went through to make this money. So I started off with about 200,000 AUEC today, and that's about really what you need to start getting traded at all. Uh, so if you don't have this amount, it's honestly better UEC per hour to do something like a claim jumper mission from the personal tab, and those pay out something like 15,000 credits per mission. Uh, you can do those missions in a few minutes, they're really easy. Uh, so if you don't have any kind of decent combat ship good enough for those missions, you might want to just want to try like a box delivery missions. Uh, if you have a prospector, one or two decent loads, maybe like some quantanium, that should give you more than enough capital to start trading. Now, before we get into the actual trade runs being done here and why I was able to do them today, I want to make it clear that you need a caterpillar to really make your trade worth the time right now. You can probably make it worth your time with a Carrick, but you're going to take some of a hit on your AUEC per hour. I will say that uh, you can set your ICU to the Carrick and then kill yourself with the trade terminal to skip that 5 minute trade ride back to the airport back in uh, Lorville or Microtech or any other uh, train city, but uh, you're still going to get a better AUEC per hour with a Caterpillar. So there are a few runs you can do to start out until you have about 400 to 500,000 uh, AUC of capital available to trade with. Uh, the first couple paths that I'm going to show you in 3.9 involve Selen, Levski, and Port Olisar. Starting at Selen, uh, you can really hit up Colente Farms, and if they have any distilled spirits, you can ship those to Levski. There's a pretty cool route here that you can do if the outpost has enough supply to fill your ship. Uh, but distilled spirits are still a vice, so their quantity can be pretty limited. Uh, so you're really going to have to check up on it. And you might have to change to something else if there is not enough supply, because uh, vice is pretty heavily nerfed right now in 3.9. So if you're able to get a load, you can run this from Selen to Levski on the Delmar Planetoid and sell it for a pretty good profit of 51,000 credits per trip, assuming you started with 200,000. And we can extend this trip by taking either Hydrogen or Quartz from Levski back to Port Olisar. And you can also try and pick up medical supplies at Port Olisar, take those back to Colente, and you're going to make about 10 to 12k on both those trips. So that brings our trip total to about 75k for a round trip here. Now, if Galente is out of vice, you can make a reasonable but less profitable run from the Tram and Myers mining facility on Selen. You can buy diamonds and corundum here, ship it to Levski, make about 30k uh, credits per run with 200,000 of capital. The max you can make per trip on diamonds is about 48k. Uh, you can make about 12k shipping hydrogen back to Port Olisar, which is sort of en route to uh, Selen. And I did this until I had about 400,000 credits worth of capital, and then I moved to a different region for a separate run. Now, this run is where we really start ramping up our credits per hour. I was running Titanium from the Aerial Moon of Hurston back to Lorville's Central Business District. So for about every 400k of capital moved, you can make 101,000 profit. This run takes about 25 minutes to complete in a Caterpillar, and once you get started uh, getting over 400,000 EUC, you can start buying partial loads of Laranite to up your profit per run. So on this particular day, I did start noticing something interesting. Typically, outposts do not have enough Laranite to supply a Caterpillar with a full load per trip. This is because a full load of Laranite is a pretty outrageous profit per hour, and the devs hate us, and they don't want us to earn any money. However, this Sunday, it seems that many people were really tired of the 30Ks, and the god of 30K disconnection errors, Chris Roberts himself, sought fit to shine his favor down upon me because I quite literally ran fully loaded Laranite runs for 8 hours straight with no 30k errors, no crashes, griefers, campers, or pad rammers. I mean, it was pretty unreal. Experiences may vary. So the backend spreadsheet that controls outpost inventory is actually global and it's shared across servers. So it's 
pretty rare to be able to get these full Laranite loads. I think I got about 16 or 17 of them in, and I quite literally ran this trade route until HDMS Bezdek and HDMS Latham on Ariel ran out of supply for me. These runs were costing me about 1.4 million AUEC per trip, and they will generate somewhere between 320 to 350,000 credits per run. So at 25 minutes per run, I was making somewhere around 700,000 UEC per hour. So sometimes, maybe on down days, slow days, or days of people just sick and tired of all the bugs that plague 3.9 right now, this is really going to be your time to make some insane profits. Normally, fully loaded runs from these locations, they should be paying you about 120,000 per trip because you're going to be running Laranite and Titanium back to Lorville. So that equals about 240 to 250k per hour if you got a combination of Laranite and Titanium. So when you're checking these sliders, make sure you always buy Laranite first. Drag that slider all the way to the max, get as much as possible, and if you get a full load, I mean, you're really in business, because that's that's tripling your profits per hour. Make sure you have enough funds that, like I said, it's going to be about 1.4 million to get a full Laranite load. So, uh, and if the option is there, I mean, take it. I use this opportunity to make 5 million AUC in one day. Some things to be extra worried about during your trading, uh, right now Lorville can be a really tricky place to land for a few reasons. So the no-fly zone is super bugged at the moment, and a lot of times if the autopilot engages, it'll just crash you into the ground and sometimes won't give control back to the players. Another thing is that there's really strong winds on Hurston right now. They seem to be super bugged at the moment. Uh, I mean, it might not be a bug, but um, it doesn't really make sense for wind to affect you know this massive uh, you know brick that has enough thrust to escape an atmosphere. It, it shouldn't be getting rolled over and uh, completely like I, it, it, sometimes the wind would like seriously make me do like 180s. So it was it was pretty strong. The wind does also kind of bug out and it'll shove your ship around in the hangar, so be really careful with landing. I mean, I had a few close encounters with these bugs. Uh, do your best to avoid the no-fly zone, uh, especially on Lorville, Arcorp, any of those kind of planets. Another problem right now is the infamous 30k server crashing error. These tend to happen on the older servers uh, with maxed out players. So let's say you log into a server that already has like you're getting a bad frame rate. Uh, you'll notice a lot of duplicated trains, general slow performance. Uh, it might be best to swap servers, find something fresh. The biggest problem with trading right now is really the server stability. It's in complete shambles in 3.9. The ship persistence is still practically non-existent. Uh, a 30k error can set you back about 1.4 million credits on a full layer night load, so it's really best to never go under 400,000 uh, once you take those first few risky runs, so that way you can kind of recover if you get a 30k and you get a devastating loss. Uh, hopefully in the future, most of the trade risk will come from players and have absolutely nothing to do with server performance. Alright, thanks for watching folks. If you're new to Star Citizen, please consider using my referral code to get 5,000 UEC on your account. I could really use the referral bonuses. Uh, if you like this video, you know the drill. I have a Patreon. If you feel like donating some money, I might feel like making some more content. If you'd like to join my org and our seller group, visit the link in the description. The group is dedicated to learning and testing out the best ways to make money in Star Citizen on every patch, you know, without any of the RP or drama going on. And that's it. I'll see you on the next video.